I think every kid has dreamed of eating a giant bowl of cereal for breakfast. Cereal Killer's Kitchen in Henderson, Nevada is here to make that dream come true. They serve up a $40 monster cereal bowl topped off with 130 plus different cereals and a whole gallon of milk. I don't know if I've ever eaten 130 different cereals in my lifetime, but on this day I got that chance. It's probably the equivalent of three family sized cereal boxes, so we're talking about maybe four pounds of cereal. With the milk added, you have a sweet feast that just won't quit. With no fanfare, no BS, and no stalling, we're going to find out for sure if breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Are you seeing us in the proper direction, or is it? No, it's... You guys are probably sideways, right? Are you seeing this sideways? Fuck cereal. What's up everybody? Before I get started, I think I should make a correction. We're really about to find out if breakfast is the most filling meal of the day. After such a massive bowl of cereal, you'll probably never need to worry about breakfast again. I'm joking, of course, because food never lasts forever. You're full today and famished tomorrow. That's the name of the game. Humans always have to eat. The cool thing about this challenge, though, is that Cereal Killer's Kitchen sets you up in a special area so you become kind of a public spectacle in the food court. If you make YouTube videos or do Instagram or do competitive eating events, you're probably no stranger to spectacle and people making comments about you as they walk by. Some not so nice. It's a great marketing tool for the restaurant, of course, which is what social media and YouTube are pretty much all about. I was filming this one for YouTube and broadcasting live to my Instagram page at the same time, keeping up that 2020 tradition. Trying to keep things fresh with a new idea. But we're 2021 now, so I gotta come up with something different. It was refreshing to be able to talk to friends and fans while getting down on a very original food challenge. You don't see giant bowls of cereal every day. Of course, the $40 cereal bowl would be on the house if I could drain its contents into my stomach in 45 minutes or less. I would also get a cool t-shirt and have my picture placed on the wall of fame. That's a pretty good incentive. The only previous winner of this challenge was the Adventures of Heavy D, a fellow foodie you may remember from my recent Big Burrito video. He loves his, bre he loves his breakfast food, so this challenge was right up his alley. You need to have a serious sweet tooth and a fondness for lactose to get through this staggering cereal showdown. I don't think I could even name 130 cereals. Most of the cereals in this bowl were of the sweet kind, so I saw plenty of varieties of Fruit Loops, Apple Jacks, Frosted Flakes, Smacks, Corn Pops, Sugar Crisp, Pebbles, and much, much more. You name it, and it was probably in the bowl. I think Crave was there too, a couple different varieties of Crave. There weren't too many healthy cereals like shredded wheat in there. I don't remember anything with nuts, so thankfully choking hazards were low. Sometimes when you're doing an ice cream challenge, for example, you have to worry about those nuts that are hiding in the ice cream. They can hit you hard in the back of the throat when you swallow. But there was nothing like that here. What made this giant cereal bowl tough was two elements. First off, the cereal got soggy really fast and the tastes all got kind of muddled together. So it tasted sickly sweet after a while. I enjoyed it to a point, but after a bit it tasted like I was eating lumps of sugar swimming in milk. It was slow going in the beginning when the cereal was still crunchy and you had to chew it, and it was slow going again once it got soggy and you had to deal with that soft squishy texture on every bite.
I don't mind soggy cereal, but this was ridiculous. The bottom part of the bowl felt like it was taking forever. I drank the milk from the bowl, hoping that lowering the level of food in the bowl would bring me closer to the finish faster. But drinking the milk was the easy part. It was eating the cereal that was tough. And trying to use the milk to force down the cereal wasn't always a good call. As I got to the bottom of the bowl, I was getting very full, and chugging the cereal with the milk was not exactly an option. It was getting into that dicey, difficult territory where swallowing too fast was making me nauseous. I have learned you gotta be gentle in those circumstances. Take slower swallows, slower gulps, and pause when the stomach doesn't like it. You can't do it forever, but from experience I found it's a way to make your body go farther. When I finally cleared the cereal bowl, milk and all, I still had the two water bottles left over. There was confusion over whether they were really part of the challenge. The servers on hand didn't know, but they told me I should probably finish them. So I made sure to polish them off as well. Well, I don't want to leave any controversy here. So that's a quart of water on top of a gallon of milk and all that cereal. It was risky business indeed, but somehow, somehow I made it all fit. Just a few minutes to spare, boom goes the dynamite. The giant cereal bowl was slain. This one goes into the wind column, thankfully, because it was by no means easy. I had almost no room to breathe at the end. For my efforts, I received the mail on the house and scored a sweet t-shirt. It was awesome to join the Adventures of Heavy D on the list of victors. Oh, 
Do you want a picture with the t-shirt? Like, you don't have to have it on, just... Oh, yeah, that sounds great. Can you stand up? No. Okay. This is one I may not want to do again. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button and share with a friend. I'll see you all in the next one. Until we do it again, stay in school, don't do drugs, and eat like a freak.